I am Oscar, the ultimate glory in Hollywood success. Yes, everybody's here. Tall, bashful James Stewart and the lovely girl. The quite fabulous Mr. Charles Lawton with his distinguished wife, Elsa Lanchester. Revered Gene Herschel and his missus, torn tonight from his fireside in first edition. Did you ask for glamour, Mr. and Mrs. Audience? Well, Hedy Lamar is here, but darn it, with her husband, Gene Markey. Melvin Douglas, Helen Gehagen, Irving Pitchell. Everybody, you bet everybody. Scarlett O'Hara, her glorious self, Vivian Lee, escorted by producer David Selzman. Of course, I don't have to tell you that this is dear old May Robeson, one of the youngest of them all, or that this is one of the loveliest, Olivia de Havilland, escorted by John Hay Whitney. Naturally, the press is well and brilliantly represented. Famed Luella Parsons and her husband, Dr. Harry Martin. Hedda Hopper, actress columnist, beaming in her own gracious person and with her, John Carroll. Comes Jack Warner, youngest of the Warner clan. And then the senior member of the film-famed brothers, Harry Warner. Look, Andy Hardy, sweetheart, Ann Rutherford, and not with Andy, scandal. Blonde, lovely Virginia Bruce. And her husband, producer J. Walter Rubin. Distinguished scion of distinguished father, Douglas Fairbanks, Jr. But here's Elsa Maxwell. Start the party, folks. Now everything's ready to go. But who's going to win? Vivian Lee and Lawrence Olivier wonder with me. So do Mickey Rooney and MGM's E.J. Mannix. Gorgeous Hetty eyes that table Last crowded night, with my gleaming offspring. And with Judy Garland... When we were young Love was a star a song unsung Life was so new 